on stage now, Deal Price. Is it a match that we're trying to stage? Has <laughs> it got a in it? Look, man, that one. Right, anyways, I... Fire extinguishers. Uh, yeah. Right, so this is crack. It was one time and I was at this festival and I was moving between the stages and I just looked down as I was putting my... As you do when you walk in, you know. Just watch where you got. And there was a fuse about there full of some, some nondescript white powder that, like, I thought it might be some drugs, is what I thought. So I, like, got the freezer bag and I got my phone and that. And I'm like this and I poured it out on it. And, like, there was no region tests or drug awareness campaigns going on in this situation. It was just kind of me gone. Looks a bit like Ted. Looks a bit like Ted. Looks a bit like Ted, that like. So I just decided that I was going to hoover up what this indiscriminate drug was on my phone. And as I floated it up to the ceiling, the got me down on the band stall and in the audience beneath us, watching every single person shot at points light up in unison and an interconnective web of tele telepathic harmony and love that everybody was like, you know, in the one moment and appreciating it. And it was like true peaceful shit. And in my head I was going, ah! Which ironically made me the biggest ego in the room that night. <laughs> um, but you'd think after such a potent psychedelic experience that you'd have some like, you know, some epiphany or some kind of crack that you can maybe take home and think about the next day. But no, not for me. It was just like, don't expect to walk around after sniffing a big pile of floor drugs. <laughs> But I'm actually you know, I'm mad. Like I just, I, I don't, I, I don't have a concept of fear. Sometimes, like I do wreck the shit all the time and just whimsically survive it. <laughs> <laughs> I once had so stoned I lost my sock. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm standing there, and I'm looking down. I'm got one bare foot, one socked. It dawns on us that the sock to foot ratio that was probably popular. <laughs> Didn't really have to fend us going downstairs, getting cornflakes. <laughs> I was stoned and I was munchy and it was breakfast time and I could just go down with one sock on it. Didn't really matter at that time. <laughs> but like, aren't you sick of these people, right? Who like, are like, like, it's like, oh well, you know, like, all the positive things about weed and cannabis is like really good for you now and apparently it cures glaucoma, which is good because you can just have a joint and see. <laughs> I think sometimes when I've had a bucket, my vision's clearer, but like it's hard to tell because there's smoke going out and they need me in, so fucking hell. Am I seeing clearer right now? I don't know. It just feels nice, so that's the point. But I like all these daft cunts, like, fucking talking about the cure for and that, like, for whatever reason. Like, imagine that they just, like, went on and they made it, like, America, like, California, where it's just me, Disney man, and you can go to the shop and buy, like, a fucking flood. <laughs> would take the fun out of it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be as good, would it? Like, no longer would I be able to walk around these as park for an hour looking for a dealer who's so paranoid because he deals only in a park that takes an hour to find the cunt. Look <laughs> <laughs> up the fucking tree or something, like some drug dealer in Rambo, I don't know. Nah, like, fucking take the piss out of me, this cunt. <laughs> No longer will I be able to go to an open back door and bedroom to have some charla telling me that's 20 quid a gram now because this strange some Californian gorilla glue that put the West Coast of America in such a trap that TS always had the charty surgeons over there. <laughs> like fucking I mate, like sounds good. <laughs> Reference to the weed, TS was shit. <laughs> 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 
No longer would I be able to walk down some back alley in London and merge with some seven foot rasta. Like freaking my ex out telling us that ah, fucking Babylon's gonna fall when Boris becomes PM. <laughs> Funny enough, he was right, so I don't know what he was hitting, but it must have given some foresight. <laughs> but I like, you know, they call it the gateway drug, don't they? They say, like, oh, it's like you people feel feelings and it makes them want to explore other feelings that are possible synthetically. And, and these fucking cannabis wank activists will tell you that's not the case. But personally speaking, which is the only experience I've got to speak from, it was fucking exactly the fucking case, wasn't it? <laughs> but maybe that's just because it's not the best drug. It's mushrooms, isn't it? It's mushrooms. Isn't it? It's mushrooms isn't it? I once got so trip and I lost my sock. <laughs> I was standing there, looking down, with one socked foot. One day, some moving around stuff that I was indetermined. And I looked up and it turns out that I was uh, at Pink Floyd, Pink Dogside in 1965. And uh, I thought about it, and there was nothing I could really do about the sort of foot ratio with that day either. I just had to like fucking watch a show, meditate in the centre of Stonehenge for 45 years and wait for time to catch back up to itself. Which I don't know how it did, but here I am. <laughs> Pretty good. I mushrooms are good, I like them. <laughs> if anybody wants any, I don't know anybody who's got any, and I don't know the season that they're about to grow. <laughs> Might be right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but there's these people, right, and I'm sure you've met them, I'm sure you've heard of them. And like, they normally fall into one of three categories. They're either hippies, vegans, or some daft cunt not me who took too much ket at the festival and thought that he was talking to a tree. And these people, and I've heard them say it, I'm sure you have, think that we should go back to nature. That's what they say. They say, go back to nature, that'll help people. That'll do it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. It's not the sound of the trees, Kenneth. It's not the language of the conifers. It's probably because the capillaries in your inner brain are like dilated because of all the tranquilizers you've sniffed and you can hear your heartbeat reverberating around your skull. Might be that, not the trees. But I can understand how the trees might be leaning into you a little bit and not like the talk to you, you know? But I go back to nature. If anybody in this room thinks that that's answering humanity's problems, then I've got a solution. Find a big ass forest. Move in. <laughs> there you go. I once went back to nature and I lost my sock. <laughs> and I was standing there, had one sock for one day, covered in like sticks and bugs and mud and probably some shit, like, you know, beavers and rabbits and that, in the soil. It dawned on us. That the sort of foot ratio that I was currently pondering was actually a real fucking big problem. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I, the survival energy for the day had to be taken up with finding some kind of way to protect my foot and stop us from getting infections and trench foot and probably die and really if you're just living in the woods and you've got no socks on or one sock on. Who knows? Like it, it, it would take up a lot of time to sort sort that problem out. But like, you know, like. Everything that you've got, you know, like your telly and your PlayStation and like, it's all just made of rocks. There's like, just somebody came up with a recipe one day and was like, well, we'll take that bit out of that rock and then there you go, there's a telly. Uh, and that's literally what happened. It's not unnatural, it's just human beings have like, put the hand of our nature onto some rocks and made it into better stuff for it and have a life of all. Like, don't, don't devalue it, it's beautiful. But yeah, I, um, so that's about me really, like, just don't worry about it and move forward and have a nice life, thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>